Ba -ba -ba. <clears throat> I'll get started in just a moment. Hey, good morning. Uh, bona, bonjourno, rather. That's so uncharacteristic for me. Uh, but I've got a bit of programming stuff I need to do today, so I will be doing that while watching the Pokemon Regional, while trying to entertain chat. Uh, I am I am currently watching this, and you are watching me. I don't have permission to restream this, though, so I can't have it, like, picture in picture. Uh, but yeah, uh, I have to, today my goal is to make a Discord bot that is able to interpret messages from a different discord bot because there is no twitter integration bot that works like what i want or what the server wants where it gets both twitter posts and replies from a specific user it like doesn't format them right so i need to make a piece of middleware that will take the posts from one bot and reinterpret them into a way that is more palatable for users uh, it should be pretty easy i haven't written stuff for discord in like a year or two though so we'll see what happens. Uh, so first things first, I've got my my node package here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it'll it'll make more sense when I'm able to get it running. So like I've got uh, let's see, this works. Yeah. So I've got a Discord instance open up so I can test the bot, and I'll be flipping back between VS Code and that pretty regularly. Basically, the the existing Twitter bot that ex that we have uh, only like posts replies in like a fairly obtuse way but if i were able to read the message and split the message and be able to repost the reply it'll embed more nicely uh i'll i'll show you what i mean hey lua hey ty oh wow everybody's here i guess mornings are like a fine time to stream uh good morning bona bona bo i keep saying bona bone journal hi ty uh ty your birthday is tomorrow right that's exciting uh, Saturdays are made for programming. And as I, as I was just saying, Ty, I'm also watching the Hartford Regional right now. I'm watching, uh, Wolf maybe take this guy apart. Or maybe get taken apart, I'm not sure yet. Yeah, Ty's birthday is tomorrow, the 21st. I think he said he's gonna start at, like, 12 EST. I don't know if that's a secret or not. But if it is, I just spoiled it. Okay, uh, so, let's see if I remember how to make a Discord bot at all. Because I don't think I do. Oh, let me put on my BGM. Because you guys are not listening to a Pokemon regional like I am. Where's my hotkey for that? Music. There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, so, let's see. I haven't written stuff for Discord in two years, I think. It's been a while. Uh, so, let's do... And let's get Discord JS up in here. Let's see if I remember what that is. Uh, npm install Discord JS. Does that work? Hmm. 
Discord.js not the name of the package? What is the name of Discord.js package? Discord.js? Discord.js. Now I patiently sit here and wait for npm install to work. That's exciting. So what are you two jokers up to today? Uh, what's uh, what's on the docket for both of you? Because I'm, I'm actually quite surprised to see folks around at this early. I'm so used to streaming only exclusively after 8pm. Okay, cool. We've got that. We have our dependency of Discord.js. We also need uh, npm install express. And what else do I need? Let's see. What do I usually use? Dot env. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Boom. Sure, why not? Alright, uh, Wolf took this guy apart. That's, it seems like is the, uh, what I'm hearing. Yeah, 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 okay. That's the world champ difference right there. Okay, and let's do npm install again. Watching streams while I get ready for my, uh, my day is my go-to, which is why I watch so much Vesper. IRL party today, oh. Imagine. I haven't had an IRL party in years. Okay. Cool, we've got that. So now I gotta make a new file. Uh, index.js. Uh, this also feels like a thing I can just copy from a previous project instead of trying to reinvent the wheel. Do, 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 do. Why did I write it like this? This is not intuitive. Uh... Main. Main. We've got that. And the question is what happens in main? Making people go 3D. You invited VTubers. Terrifying. Terrifying. I was also surrounded by VTubers on my actual birthday. Uh, which was alarming. Uh, first time I've done traveling in quite a while. Uh, let's see. Okay, so how do I even set up a bot for Discord? Uh, let's consult Discord.js documentation. Copy this wholesale from their documentation and modify as necessary. Uh, Create a new client instance. I think my I need to do what is it? Intense. This is like reading messages. I think. Yeah, I think that's the one I need. So this will let me back read messages. I'm pretty sure. Uh, this goes away. Um, we're gonna need to do require. Uh, God, I haven't written JavaScript in years. This is embarrassing. Dot env. Dot fig. Pretty sure that's how I do that. Um, then we would do... Uh, process dot... Uh, bot. Token. I gotta remember to not flash my .env file 
on stream today. Though if I do, it's not the end of the world. I can just get a new token made. Uh, okay, so like, what happens if I run this now? If I do... Uh, PM or node index JS. Can I find module node events? Interesting. I don't know what that means. Alright, it's not complaining that I'm missing any packages. Oh, I should add my terminal as a window here. Hold on. That would be smart. Uh, t -t -t -t. Window capture. Do I have that as an existing source? I do. There we go. Now you guys can see what I'm complaining about. Kind of. I don't know where a good place to put this would be. But it should be here. Uh, directly in front of my face, right? Well, you say that, but like, here's what I'm looking at right now. Uh, where it's complaining that it cannot find module node events. I don't know what that means. But did it compile? Did I say something about compiling? I mean, I guess you're right. In that case, there's no no such thing as compiling. Uh, it is JavaScript that will quote-unquote compile. I'm not using TypeScript. I don't have patience for that. Uh, oh, wait. It's this? No. I'm confused. Does this not exist? No, this exists. What is it complaining about? I don't, yeah, so I don't like TypeScript too much for personal stuff because I don't have the patience to get the whole pipeline set up. What does this mean? Cannot find module node events. All right, Stack Overflow, tell me what this means. Oh! My node version's out of date is what this is telling me. Yeah, okay, how do I update node? Uh, I think I've done this before also. Alright, yeah, check this out, check this out. I can just add node as a dependency to its own thing. That's what the problem was. Wolf Glick has beaten this guy twice in the time it has taken me to figure out how to get my own node app running. That's impressive. Uh, node index. Cannot find module node events. No, but I'm running node v. Uh, shoot. How do I... How do I get this to... How do I get this to use the version of Node that I want it to use? I don't remember shit about shit. I don't remember. Node upgrade? No. Uh, what's the command to update node? Because I have the latest version. I definitely do. Um, version. Do I have an NVM installed? No. Uh, 
Yeah. I don't, I'm not super familiar with all the VGC players besides some of the really big stars yet, so I don't know who this Tolar guy is, but he did just get blown up on stream, which is always a shame. Uh, why update Node.js? Alright, it's being told I'm being told to just install node version manager, so I guess I'll do that. Is going to work? Why did I think that was going to work? I'm using Windows. Do I not have PGM playing? It should be. It's just like very quiet, I think. Maybe it's too quiet. Is it, like, dead silent? It shouldn't be. I, I'm seeing on OBS... Let me hide my terminal from my face. I'm seeing on OBS that I've got audio. It's just quiet. I can maybe fix that. Give me one second. Why is the audio level for this locked? Why can't I adjust this? What the fuck? But I am installing the newest version of Node so I can actually run my bot. It is installing very slowly. Is the uh, BGM less quiet now? It should be, speaking of. I cranked the volume in my uh, mixer. Alright. Node, please let me install a new version. I should have checked this before I started the go live button on streaming, but uh, that's the power of a co-working stream, I guess. Please, let me use this.
The installer is going so crazy slow. I like that uh, in the current regional that's going on for Pokemon, everybody's talking about how like snow is in vogue right now, because it makes me feel very smart for having uh, been using a snow team up until like two weeks ago or so. I was I was doing Bronzong with Obama Snow. I have a VOD for it on my YouTube, actually. Uh, I felt like, oh, this makes sense. Nobody expects Obama Snow, and now everybody's using Obama Snow. So I am once again a trendsetter, clearly. Everybody's watching my streams and coming up with the regional winning strategies, for sure. And there's no other explanation to it than that. Okay, node. Node dash s version. Okay. Token invalid, that's cool. An invalid token was provided. I'll pop my terminal back on screen. That's good to know. Now I've, I've got the right version of, of Node. I can run. It doesn't like the token. Uh, but why? That's difficult to debug. Oh, wait, no, it's dot .env, that's why. I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's try that again. Hey, nice. Logged in. So my bot is called Reply Guy. It is entirely based around cutting up the posts from an existing Twitter bot, Twitter integration bot, and formatting them in a way that the server deems is acceptable. Uh, so that is the goal today. I need to add an event to this thing so every time a message gets posted by a specific user, i.e. the bot, it tries to slice it based on uh, a separator character and then reposts the second half of the message, basically. So cool, this works. Uh, logged in, excellent. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So we'll log in. Uh, let's let's see, how else do we, what do we need to do? Client. So Discord now works with like a thing called slash commands. I don't remember how to set those up these days, but we'll, we'll see what we got. Um, I could probably read the docs live on stream and find out. Uh, okay, let's put the terminal away. And let me bring the docs onto the browser I'm using for Discord, so we can look at this together. Okay. Okay, so there, there are these things called slash commands, uh, which is the new way to go forward for executing commands in Discord. You might have seen uh, old Discord bots have things that are just entirely text-based. You do like exclamation point command, and it'll be like, got it, understood. But now they're using these so that you can separate them from actual messages. Um, store all of your command files. Okay. Oh, that's how they want to do this. Okay, that's not a bad idea. So we make a new folder. They've really matured this since the last time I was trying to... Um, what's the word? Set this up. Like, the last Discord bot I tried to set up was one for uh, Mildom.com integration for Discord. And that was just when they were converting over to slash commands, and it was a lot less sophisticated. So, that's cool. Okay, so this is going to be... I think. Man. 
and config.js, I think. And then how do I get this to be connected to everything? Or does it just know to do that automatically? Hold on, let's find out. So now if I fire up the bot... Logged in. Can I do slash? No. Wait, do I need to... No, but reply guy is here. So how do I get these commands? Oh, hold on. Um, you want to be looking at that. So I've got my bot in my server. But when I do slash, the only commands that show up are for my Mildum bot. So how do I get the slash commands to be connected to everything. Command handling. New collection. Oh, okay. Okay, so the thing that they just had me do is entirely stylistically their choice and not actually... Okay. Okay. So now we go back here. So it just wants to flip. So what's going to happen here is it, they asked me to make a folder called commands and they all have a basically a similar file structure where they have a execute command here. Uh, they have a data and execute property. Does this one have a data property? Yes, it does. Uh, okay. And then it's going to set that command. I mean, this is an intelligent way to do it. Yeah, 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 I got nothing else to do today. I've got... I need to get this done, or my coworkers will yell at me. Uh, by coworkers, I mean the moderation team in the, the Kason server. I've, I've been promising that I would do this for them for, like, a week now. And I'm never going to want to do it, other than right now. Unless I do it right now. Uh, okay. So, I'm doing great. I mean, I'm, I'm over my terrifying golf loss yesterday. It's totally water under the bridge. I am... Watching in the corner of my eye the Pokemon regional that's happening right now. I'm learning new stuff about Discord and getting work done for people that require it from me. So I'm in a good mood so far. Nothing has gone terribly wrong. Okay. So now if I kill this terminal again and run this again and I go back to... Oh, collection is not defined. That makes sense. Is that not a default... Oh, it's a... Okay, it's a thing from... Yeah, sorry. You're going to find out that I'm, in fact, not good at golf. But you'll never guess my actual score. Uh, also, you're under no obligation to watch my VODs. That's, like, above and beyond. Unless you want to. Um, it was mostly me getting upset at a video game. But I'm going to get better at the video game. It's part of a tournament. Uh, my friend Izvi is running VT Off, which is a VTuber golf open. And it's taking place in Neo Turf Masters, as I, I mentioned yesterday. I only started playing Neo Turf Masters this very week in preparation for participating in this tournament. So I got a very, very high score, which is bad in golf. But I will get better at this game for the subsequent two weeks. Next week is going to be the Japan course, and the following week is Australia. Yeah. Uh, it's, Neo Turf Masters is a very pretty game. It is a it is a very good video game. It's a very accurate simulacrum of real golf. Uh, I found it intensely frustrating because I'm a golf amateur. Okay, so we've got cl collections here. Let me try this again. Path is not defined. What do you mean path is not defined? What do I need? Uh, require FS? Is that what that is? Require path? I mean, I think actual golf is kind I said this yesterday. I mean, path is not defined. Uh, I said this yesterday on stream, so I'm going to spoil some more of the golf stream. Uh, but... I think actual golf is, like, kind of eco-terrorism. 
it requires so much water and so much land to be carved out that I think it's just like irresponsible for real golf, golf courses to exist. But in the context of a video game, I think it's very fun. I think it's a great sport for that. Uh, but in, if you're making an actual golf course for real, for real, you are wasting too much land and you are wasting too much water. All right. Um, I should probably just finish reading the guide instead of like being confused why this isn't working. Okay, so we have a collection of commands. Client commands set on. Okay. Registering slash commands, this is the part that I care about right now. Hmm. Okay, so what's this going to do? Could not find the name rest. Did I mean rest? I don't know what, where it's getting this from. That's not clear. It's talking about creating a new rest. But what is that? Oh, it comes from Discord.js. Okay. This is not a secret, so that's fine. Oh, and let me go back to VS Code. Build ID. Let me get that. I think I'm listening to a Legend of Zelda ad on the, the Pokemon stream right now. Has everybody else been playing uh, tons of Legend of Zelda? Like an irresponsible amount of Tears of the Kingdom. Just me. Bond's been playing it nonstop. It's really refreshing to watch her get excited about a video game again, because she has not been in quite some time. I've been playing a fair amount of it, but not quite as much as her. Guild ID. Will this run? Unopened Collector's Edition. Oofa doofa. Yeah, I feel that. I'm certainly not going to spoil anything, so don't worry. Um, just curious if people are playing it. I want to play more, but I'm like trying to practice golf for the th tournament that I was just talking about. I'm still trying to stay sharp on Pokemon, which is, you know, an uphill battle. I'm trying to continue to be good at Dota. Too many video games that I need to stay good at. What is it complaining about? Commands is not defined. That seems not true.
Is this how I'm supposed to do this? Is this right? Am I conflating two different things? No, I'm doing this wrong. I should just read the guide instead of, like, jumping back and forth so haphazardly. Oh, I see, I see. Clips of people launching Koroks into space, yeah. I don't get why people are so mean to the Koroks. It just seems nasty. I get that they found them, like, annoying or whatever. But it just seems mean. Uh... Unknown application. Doesn't like my application ID? Client ID? That's interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Application ID goes here, server ID goes there, and I've got my token. Why does it say it doesn't know? So the current error I'm getting is this one, where it says that it doesn't recognize the application, unknown application. But I don't know why that would be. Unknown application. Which would make me think I've given it the wrong application ID. But I don't think I have. Unless it wants me to do this. This is probably what it wants me to do. It wants me to make these strings because they're as numbers, they are too large. Let's try that. There we go. I'm so smart. Uh, okay. So those, those were, that was not accurately being represented. I was getting, uh, actually getting a floating point rounding error with my ID, because I was trying to keep it as a number, but this is not the same ID as, uh, yeah, this, this is not the same. It was getting rounded wrong, because it was too big, <laughs> too big to be an int. Okay, there we go. Cool. So now that that's working, I can go back to my browser here, my browser source. And I can do, hey, there's my guy. Deep in thought. 
Take your time. Application did not respond, but that's okay. I'm, I'm sure there's a step that I haven't uh, put in yet. That's fine. What does it say in the terminal? Nothing. Okay. Just no response from the, the guy. But that's okay. So our commands have been registered to the server. The server can use the commands. Now I need to have a way for the bot to actually do something with said commands. So let's go back to here. I think I skimmed over that before because I wanted to get these usable. And now I, I am more interested in command handling. Yeah, that's the previous step. So we did this part. So I think I can, I've, as dumb as it feels to just copy-paste this blindly, I'm pretty sure that's the best course of action here. I'll move this stuff into a nice organized uh, something later. Okay, so back to VS Code. So we've got this on handler. So when we get an interaction in Discord, we check to see if it's not chat. Because we don't, apparently don't want to intercept that. Though I will later. This will be modified later. Because I actually do want to intercept chat. Specifically from a specific bot. Uh, so. Uh, if it's not a command. No matching command. Do nothing. Otherwise try and do command. Yeah, so we get the command based on the name. Try and execute it. Yeah. Okay. So I think with that. If I fire this bad boy up again. There's this really good bumper for Pokemon I'm listening to right now that they keep playing at every regional where they interview... I shouldn't say interview, they like pull the crowd for like their favorite Pokemon. And they just like ask randos in the crowd. And so they talk to one kid who's like clearly very young. And he says that his favorite Pokemon is Greninja because he likes its ninja-like features. And I think about that a lot because it happens every weekend that there's a regional. I hear this bumper a lot. Everybody else is like, oh, you know, I like... You know, Arcanine, he's an old favorite or whatever. But this one kid's like, I like Greninja because of its ninja-like features. I don't, I don't know if that's... Is it not just a ninja itself? It's not really ninja-like. It just is a ninja. Okay, ping. Pong. Excellent. We've intercepted a command. All of this stuff... This this is like the core engine section here. It, it logs in, executes commands. So now, um, what I want to do... is like this. And let me go back to VS Code. So now I want to make this thing respond to messages. So let's see if I can figure out how to do that. Because now I'm going uh, off-roading here. Else if... What have we got for our interactions here? Is... Now, this is just ways that you can interact with the bot. There's, like, commands and buttons and modals. I need this thing to see when a message gets posted. And I don't think that's this. I don't think that's message component. Uh, is 
Is there like a client dot on events dot message reaction message create perhaps Now I'm listening to Cybertron talk about why Flutterman is so absurdly strong on the regional. <laughs> it's like, oh, it pairs really well with these guys who lower special defense. It's basically good. It's an always food. Uh, let's see. Is this correct? Ooh, okay, it is. We can have access to author. Okay, I'm assuming it's not going to like this, um, but we'll I'll learn by brute forcing, figuring out what it wants. So my goal here, what I've tried to do here, is I've got a event handler for messages being created. I think this is any message in the entire server right now, so we'll have to clamp this down in a little bit. Uh, but then, when it sees a message that includes the word split, it's going to reply with the word split. Because I'm going to want this to split messages eventually, so that's why I chose that as the random keyword. So let's try relaunching this. Nothing happened. Post in general? What happened? No. Interesting. So nothing happened here. Let's find out. Let's let's do a log. No, it's just not not getting anything. No logging in the terminal for when I type. Okay. Back to... Back to this. Let's see. How do I get this thing to respond to messages? This is event handling. Which is what I was trying to do just now.
Maybe I have the wrong... Hold on. Do I need different intents? I'm just guessing here. I don't actually know what these do. I don't need direct messages, that's for sure. Deal with messages. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So, because Elon Musk has decided that there is no longer a free version of the Twitter API... A lot of good Twitter bots for integrating Twitter content, like Twitter posts into Discord, have died on the grapevine uh, because they can't afford his exorbitant fee. And the remaining ones don't post in a way that's like actually very helpful. Uh, they don't do like their embed correctly or anything like that. So what I'm trying to do is make a bot that reads the output of an existing Twitter bot because I can't afford to just make my own Twitter Discord bot, because I can't pay for the API, nor would I want to, uh, and parse the result and basically reformat it into a way so that I can do a roll ping for people who, for some reason, care about getting a ping every time there's a tweet. I don't know why they don't just uh, enable notifications on Twitter. I guess maybe they don't have a Twitter account. Good for them. Uh, yeah, it's a workaround, exactly. Uh, or whatever, but but that's the the ask that was made for me, is basically every time uh, a repl somebody whose Twitter account we're following, in this case, Kason, replies to someone, it malforms the embed in Discord. So I'm trying to make a thing that can read the posts from one bot and make a better post thereafter. To that end, I need this to be able to read the messages that get posted in the server, figure out who they're from. If they're from the bot that does the Twitter posting, it will then reply with a better message, is basically the idea. Um... I hope that helps. Come on. Okay, so this is just not firing. This is a string. Uh, this is just not firing. I don't know if it'll help. I feel like it's silly that they want such heavy-handed Twitter integration. I don't get why people care that much, getting pinged about tweets and things like that. Um, but that's what I was asked to do, and that is my lot as the technologist for the server. Uh, why does this not... Yeah, exactly. If they want it.
There we go. I probably just made it stack overflow because it's reading itself. Yes. That was foolish of me. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. Uh, okay. So cool. It works now. I needed a different... Um, the solution here, why it wasn't working, is I apparently needed this guild's intent. Uh, a, a guild of calamitous intent, if you will. Um, and then I made it respond with a message that has the thing it includes. You have an off-topic question. Go ahead and shoot. I'm listening. I'll have an off-topic answer for you. Let me clean this up. I've been doing bird photography. You're so right. I've been doing insect photography. Okay. I'm not seeing the question here, but this is this is all true. Uh, there are a lot of birds in my area, and I'm, I have the camera that Bond has been using for her, her Gunpla streams, which is a very powerful camera. And it's the one I've been using for the 2022-23 Peace Out Sudans. Very, very good camera. What's the thing you like most on birds? I think they're cool to watch because they're very intelligent. Uh, they have complex social behavior. Uh, they're... So, they, they talk to each other. They are very mobile, so they're always in interesting places. They're always trying to do things. Uh, they, you know, they're trying to solve some kind of problem, build a nest, acquire food, that kind of stuff. They're very colorful. Uh, they're very small, which is cute. Uh, I just, just an overall big bird fan, I would say. Okay, so the, the thing we're trying to split on is uh, this. I believe it's this emoji from the... I'll have to make this configurable. But I'll probably do that off stream. I don't feel like setting up a whole config right now. Um, so, okay. Message content includes... We should also check to see message.author... So, okay, so what I'm going to want to do... Let's let's let Reddit to do for ourselves here. To do. Um, yeah, it's difficult because they're very... They're, very quick, and often very far away, so I've only been able to get good photos of them now that I have a powerful camera with a very fast f-stop, and a very strong zoom lens. I'm not nearly as close to them as the photos make it seem. Okay, so we post-author configurable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, phone wasn't cutting it for me anymore, so I, I upgraded to the big guns, because we happen to have one sitting around. Can even get the hair on an ad spot. That's exciting. Okay. Let's move this stuff all together. Right, who's on stream next? Garchomp? Who's out here running Garchomp on uh, Regulation C in fucking almost June out here? Garchomp? I haven't seen Garchomp in like six months to, eight, to like seven months, I think. In like Regulation A. Golly, golly, golly. I'm talking about Pokemon again. I'm watching the, the regional still. Interesting. Interesting. 
I thought it was funny. The uh, the commentators were talking about how this we've been in this regulation set for a while. They said for a long time, and I thought that was very funny because to me it feels like every uh, maybe seven weeks, six weeks, everything changes in the world of Pokemon again. I know it's not actually that frequent, but it really feels like that to me. I feel like by the time I figure something out that feels fun to play, it's like oh, we're totally up upending everything all over again. Okay. So. Let's try this again where it doesn't do a an overflow. Yeah, it feels like it changes a lot, right? Okay. So let's try this. So if I say... So if I say this, message, splitting character, the reply, the bot should reply back with, and this is air quotes, the reply, there you go. Excellent. Cool. So that part works. Um, I like that. I'm happy with that. Um, now... Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. So now it's time to make a command that actually does some stuff to let us configure this. So let's go back to VS Code. So we made this ping pong command. I guess I'll, I'll rename this. I'll keep this. Uh, ping... So what this needs to do, this is going to be config. Uh, okay, so you execute the thing. Um, let's see, if memory serves, then we do dot add user option author I think dot add add string option Like that. And we're going to do... Okay, so I need to figure out how to get stuff out of this interaction. So, okay, so what I've done here is... The slash commands will have options that I'll show in a second. Um, in this case, there's a user you can supply and a string. User is going to be the author of the original post that we want to interpret. And the string is the little splitter. So in this case, I was using the, the thought bubble as the splitter. I would ideally want this to be a thing you you do a command, you say config, when Twitterbot1 posts and the post has this thought bubble in it, uh, you will... Remember that, and then going forward, you will be able to use those uh, as things to listen for. 
Um, so, like, if I run this command again... Oh, it doesn't like that. Let's go back to the docs. Let's read this again. I want to see a more in-depth slash command. Uh, show me, show me more. Advanced command creation. Ah, okay, okay, okay. That. Oh, uh, let me go back to. I keep forgetting to do that. Okay. So we've got that. How do I access these in the actual execution? Well, we'll find out in a second. Let's run this. Okay, so now if I do... Why is it got two of these? I don't like that. Um config. So now you can see it's asking for an author. It wants a user. So I'll say me. And the splitter can be anything. And it responds. So now I need, I need to have a way to save that forever. Like write that to a file so it remembers. And uh, then get those back somehow. So I need to learn how to get those options out of this interaction in here. But of course, I don't know what type of thing this is. And that's the phone of JavaScript, is that nothing is strongly typed. Discord.js, please. Ah, okay. So we'd have like this. Options. Okay, so we do that. Colon three. My favorite skeleton VTuber. Hope your Saturday is going well, Tom. Uh, yeah, it's, it's alright. I'm listening to a Pokemon regional right now. I'm getting work done for you guys. Uh, so we'll go back to Discord. Let's see. Um, so now I can do... Config, author... Me, splitter, uh, think. I think that's what was being asked for. 
listening for posts from Skeleton that contain the split or whatever. So I can do original tweet. Think. The reply. Why did it not? Cannot send an empty message. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, butterflies are gorgeous. Posted the insect photos. I'll check them out after the stream. Uh, why does it think this is an empty message? Shouldn't be. Back to VS Code. Split. Why does it think that's an empty message? Uh, I guess let's do console. Let's try again. Browser. I don't know why it didn't work before. That's weird. Oh, I know why. It's because it posted the splitter, and then it listened to its own post, and there's nothing after the splitter here. Um, that's funny. Uh, and it's tried to post a message. Okay. Uh, so that's why I have to add the clamps to make it like listen for specific posts from specific users. Okay. Um... Okay, okay, okay. So now I want to have this do what? I want this config command. We want, I think, file system stuff. I think. We're going to write to a file on disk. Uh, so we want to do what? Um, Let's see, so const config equals make a new object. Um, like that. And then we can do Can I get the guild ID from the, the interaction, I hope? Let's find out. Where can I look at the whole list of... things?
Where can I get the... I want to know what server this is from. Oh, wait, wait, no, this is the wrong thing. that okay so this should save a file neo grenia hello welcome is that a oh no i thought i thought that was a dot level emote hello welcome hi nice nice to meet you uh, i'm i'm doing a i'm doing some programming for a discord bot right now very very dumb piece of middleware that i have to make i hope you're doing well epic epic indeed i agree i agree Okay, so we've got that logged in. Pop over back to Discord. So we do config. Skeleton splitter is think. Boom. There was an error while executing this command. What's the error? Cannot access path before initialization. Huh. What does that mean? I'm looking at this error in my terminal right now. Oh, wait. That's what that's the problem. I'm done. I have const path. Const path. Uh And I didn't finish the right command. I'm not very smart here. Uh, file is uh, config. Or it's going to be stringify config file path. There we go. Let's try that again. Big me. There was an error while executing your command. No such file or directory. Oh, okay. I can never remember with file system stuff uh, if you have to create the file ahead of time or if you try and do write, if it'll just create the file for you. Um, that's fine. Uh, okay. Back to VS Code. Let's fix that. If uh, fs dot
I thought th I thought FS write file would just make the file happen. Let's print the file path. Okay, so it thinks the path is this thing. Why? Why does it think that's the path? Hold on, so let me pop open terminal again. Why is it saying that's the path? Oh, wait, I have this backwards. Path, then data. Okay, hold on. Yeah, it does work like I thought. I'm so dumb. It's been literally years since I've used JavaScript, because I've just not been getting my programming chops going lately. Okay, let's try that. Third time's the charm. There was an error executing this command. No such file. Okay. So it doesn't make the file. JavaScript has always been a headache. I like it, because it lets you just try stuff really fast. But on the other hand, it's kind of inscrutable if it doesn't work. It just like, doesn't really tell you why. Okay, so let's see. Let's... Uh... Oh, I know why. I see why. Because the path it was looking at is... Yes, that is JavaScript, yeah. So the path was commands configs, but it shouldn't be... Because this is running from inside a folder. So I needed to do a dot dot operator, I'm pretty sure. Fourth time's the charm. Rapid prototyping. Error. Doesn't like that. Invalid argument type. What is this talking about? There we go. Okay. Got it working. Uh, as an amateur programmer who only used, like, front-end website code, Python, dabbled a bit in C-sharp, and now working with Godot, JavaScript's kind of messy. Yeah, I'm a C-sharp fan myself, but Discord and, like, other web apps are Node-leaning, so I'm good at Node as well. Uh, they're very different paradigms. Like I was saying, JavaScript is a fail-fast kind of thing where you can just slam out some code, try it, it won't work, you go back to the drawing board, run it again, Etc. Etc. Whereas C sharp is like a more architected thing, you can actually get pretty good type safety even without TypeScript by just defining Java docs. You like modern IDEs will let you 
um, just like define schemas for things quite well, which is my last JavaScript project uh, had had that very thoroughly because I put a lot of time and care into it. This one I'm just going for speed because it's an annoying piece of middleware that I am being asked to make. And I don't really think it needs to be like extensible or, or supportable too much. Uh, but yeah, I'm a big C-sharp fan. I want to get into Godot because I've, I've been a Unity fan for like a really long time. But uh, Unity is going kind of down the tubes. So I, I'm happy to jump ship at some point. I actually maintain and built the library for building stuff for VTube Studio, which is the program that renders my funny face right now, uh, in C-sharp. So if you ever have like a cool idea for a VTuber app, uh, something that interfaces with uh, VTube Studio, you can write it in C-sharp. And I finally decoupled it from Unity, so you could even do it in Godot. Good stuff. Okay, so now we have, if I go back to VS Code, it wrote a file, which is the configuration settings for our server, which is exactly what we wanted. It says, listen to Skeletom. Uh, it says... Uh, here's our splitter. Literal backbone of many VTuber apps. It's true. I mean, I'm, I'm going to toot my own horn here. Uh, that's somebody's cue to do the... That. Uh, there you go. I'm going to toot my own horn here and say that I have had a hand in such popular apps as uh, we've got uh, the Twitch integrated throwing system, which is if you've ever seen a VTuber get hit in the head with 3D objects, that's uh, Twitch integrated throwing system, or TITS as it's known. So it works for that. Uh, there's the VBridger, which is for improved tracking with the iPhone. Something about the iPhone just like sends better parameters to VTube Studio with it. Um, so there's that one that I had a hand in. Uh, what else recently? I'm trying to think. There's been more. Um, I think it's... There's like a chameleon app, which lets you choose the colors of your model. I have a whole list. Let me let me look it up, actually. Got a brag. Uh, where am I? And if you know of any others, you have to tell me. Legally, you have to tell me. So I can put it on the README and give you proper credit. Let's see. There we go. You can see all of the fun things people have made with them, with my library here. I, I carefully document all of them. The, the one that I personally built to test my own dog food here is a app that connects heart rate monitors to VTube Studio. So that you can do like workout streams or, or horror oh. game streams and have your model reflect your heart rate so like if you're getting really panicked you know you can have it trigger an expression where you're like sweating or, or you know crying or uh if you're doing an exercise stream you can make it make your model flush like tint a certain color things like that so that one's fun uh i don't know there's a bunch of stuff here something for everyone that's all done in c sharp and finally 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 as of this year because Unity has shit the bed so aggressively in terms of just being completely floundering and directionless and having no plan for the future and not maintaining their own tools. I finally was able to split that out so there's a pure C-sharp implementation of it all and then like a very lightweight Unity wrapper so that people can still build their apps in Unity. Because I ultimately, at the end of the day, do like using Unity. It is a very effective way to have a graphical rendering engine for C-sharp. Uh, maybe it's a little bit heavier than it needs to be, but, like, it's 2023. Most computers can handle that kind of stuff. So if I need to render, like, a UI and have a desktop application, I use Unity for it, game or not. Yeah, it's way heavier. I, yeah, I don't care that much. Uh, Godot is probably the way forward. I'm sure it's more optimized and more streamlined. And now you can finally use Godot uh, with that library because it's just pure C Sharp. No more Unity hooks for me. What the fuck was I doing here? Okay. So we got it to save a file. Uh, now what we want to do is uh, when we get a message eventually I want to cache the settings for a server, but for right now I'm going to do something really stupid. Uh, we're going to do uh, 
config equals uh, fs dot read file sync. Don't look at this. This is like the worst code I can possibly write. Uh, we're going to just read the file every time. Every time we get a message. At some point, this will be cached. So it doesn't need to do this. Yeah, I mean, Gitto has its own issues, but it's not owned by stakeholders. So people actually fix those issues is the thing. It's like open source and, and like, freeware. So it might have issues, and it almost certainly does. But I have faith that somebody will fix them. And actually release them because they have an incentive to fix them. Whereas with shareholder shit, it's just like, we need new features. I don't care if the old stuff doesn't work, it needs to be new. And that's the problem that Unity just has, like, no fucking clue at all what it wants to do. They introduce, like, a new rendering pipeline every two years, like clockwork, when the old one barely works. Uh, it's like, they, they're, they're, they have no focus. It's really directionless. I, I can't stress enough. They just don't seem to have any cohesive vision for how to make their thing better or appealing. They're just constantly trying to catch up to Unreal, and they're just constantly trying to appease sh uh, shareholders, and it's never going to work. You can't. It's a, a fool's errand. The stock market will never be happy with you no matter how good of a product you make, because it has to be more. That's the only thing that matters is more. It doesn't matter if it's good, there just has to be more. And you, you can't keep up, it's impossible. That's my rant about Unity. I'm 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 angry because I, I care. I know they could they have and could do better, but they have chosen not to, and it's really disappointing. I already dealt with a non-functioning tile set, a good old practice class that I take every seven years. So there can be, yeah, again, there, there are definitely issues. I'm not going to come out here and be like, oh, Godot is God's gift to, uh, to man. It works perfectly and it's it's so perfect. I've never even used it, frankly. I just know that it's out there and it's a C-sharp engine. Uh, but the fact that it is open source really makes me believe that those issues will get fixed in a timely fashion. Because anybody who cares to fix them can actually fix them. Like you, Neo Grenea you could figure out how to solve this because, you know, it's really been bothering you for, like, a long time. Uh, you, you have access to the source code. You could fix it if you wanted to and had the know-how. And then you could submit the fix, and they'll just approve your pull request, and it'll be in the engine. You, it, there's no, like, proprietary code bullshit that's, like, locked behind closed doors for no reason other than to keep, uh, you know, some kind of concept of value for the shareholders. It, 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 so it will get fixed at some point. Open source stuff means it will eventually be perfect. It will eventually reach a part where everything works. But Unity, is, it, it's not going down that path. Okay, so we get our config file. We check for our splitter. Um, if message.author... ID... Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to demonstrate a little magic trick for you guys. I'm going to run the bot again, brand new. I'm not going to run the config command, because we already did that. And I'm going to go back to my Discord over here. And I'm going to post a thing with that splitter character, and it's going to know to reply. Oh, let me, let me hide my... There we go. So now I, I just launched the bot again. I did not rerun the config command. I'm going to hit this. And it's going to blow up. Bye. Unhandled error event. Interactions not defined. Fascinating. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, interaction is not defined. Oh, here. There we go. Next time's the charm. Now 
No? Same thing? Can I read properties of undefined? Reading ID. So somebody here is undefined. Uh... That's right, I gotta do this. I gotta parse the content of that file. Does it's just a string otherwise. Let's let's try again. Third time's the charm. There we go. Clapping like a seal over here. So it remembers from last time, because we wrote the config settings to a file. The splitting character that it cares about is the thought bubble. And it knows to listen for messages from me. And then it will reply in fashion. It'll reply with the second half of the message. Uh, this is because, again, I'm trying to create middleware for an existing Twitter bot. And I, I would love to have just made my own Twitter bot, but the API is no longer free. And I'm not going to pay Elon Musk for that shit. No way, no how. Uh, so I need to make one that can interpret a message from an existing bot. And then parse it. And then it's going to do something with the, the parsed response. Is the plan. So this is a decent proof of concept, I think. I'm pretty happy with this. Um... I could keep going with this. I don't know how much I really care to, to do on stream. I want to clean this up before I start, like, really going crazy. This was very much thrown together in a slipshod fa fashion just to get something up and running. But in about 90 minutes, I went from having a new node project to having a thing that runs in Discord and executes a command and listens for messages in a way that I care about. Uh, so that's cool. That was fun. Uh, I do like doing that. Um, is there anything else I should be doing? Yeah, like, so I've got this one, Dunzo, delimiter's configurable. I can add another option to the command to say, like, where do we want to post this? Because I think what's going to happen is the uh, Twitter bot that I'm trying to interpret is going to be in, like, a private channel that nobody can see. And then this thing is going to be the public-facing end of end of it all, I think. And then we have to add a, a rule that we want to be able to ping every time it posts. So the post would be like, at rule, here's the cool Twitter post. Uh, okay. I'm happy with this. This is fine. This is a good enough start. Oh, uh, let me, before I finish, let me make sure, if this doesn't already, let me make sure my .env files and my git ignore. Yes, it is. Excellent. Cool. I would hate to commit my bot token to Git. So I think we're I think we're gonna call it there. Pretty brief morning stream. Uh, I'm gonna go do God knows what else. Um, but yeah, uh, if if you enjoyed this stream, please stick around, follow, uh, like, comment, subscribe, upvote, reblog, retumble, uh, all that good stuff. I do, yeah, yeah, happy to do it. I do programming streams less often than I used to. I want to get back into it. I've, I've been very creatively burnt out, honestly, uh, for most of 2023. I've been, like, trying to get good at video games again, or into video games again. And I, like, am failing at that kind of. I feel like I've just wasted, like, the first six months of this year, if I'm being totally frank. Uh, but last year, I put out a ton of stuff. I was constantly doing programming streams. I've made, like, a bunch of apps, games libraries, things like that. I want to get back in the swing of things like that. I just haven't had any, like, good ideas, which is difficult to reconcile with. But we'll get there. Uh, so yeah, if you like this kind of stuff, uh, I typically do this on Saturdays. Haven't too much this year. I know, I don't have time for more video games, Fuba. It's like, the games that I'm... I've, I guess I mentioned at the top of the stream, I'm trying to stay sharp with Pokemon. I care about Pokemon a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, I still have Dota on the backlog. Because I'm, I'm always being asked to play Dota and keep up with that. I'm now trying to get good at Neo Turf Masters because there's the tournament going on. And I'd like to be able to put up a fight in there and just get better at that. I still got to finish Zelda. Like, I've got, like, one, two, three, four games I want to play. Pretty much. So, I'm very busy. But it's not in the fun way. Or, it's in the fun way, but not in the way that I am used to. 
think of VTuber led. If you, I mean, if you've ever got an idea, you know where to find me. Uh, either here, Twitter, wherever. Just if you've got a cool idea, let me know. I'd be more than happy to uh, to try and make it happen or help you make it happen. On that note, I'm going to see who's available to raid. I have a raid in mind, but I got to see if they're still streaming. Let's see. Uh, you guys ever heard of Dokapon Kingdom? This is related to the raid. Uh, Cause one of my friends, Mimi, is currently in a collab playing Dokapon Kingdom with three of her friends. Dokapon Kingdom is like Monopoly for psychopaths. It is like a full length JRPG, but it's Monopoly, like it's a board game. And it's PvP. Like, it's intensely PvP. So I'm just going to send you guys over to... Uh, Swirl Drop is the person who's hosting it. So be nice to them. Uh, Mimi is my friend who's... You can't beat Dokapon Kingdom. I mean, I guess you can finish a game. Uh, but I don't think you can beat it. I don't know. I've certainly never come close to beating it. Anyway, I'm going to send you guys to Swirl Drop. Uh, they are hosting Dokapon Kingdom with Mimi, KK Cyber, and Picky. So go check them out. Uh, if you if you're a subscriber or you re redeem a channel point, uh, hit him with the Skeleton 07 emote here because Mimi is the one who drew it. Uh, I think you can also get this if you're not a subscriber with just redeeming channel points. Uh, so if you've got it, hit him with that when you get to the raid. Uh, wish him a you know bonjourno. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for me. Tomorrow I will probably not be streaming because I want to tune into Ty's birthday stream, which should be fun. Um, if I do, I might be doing some pizza related activities in the middle of the day very briefly because I got to make myself dinner uh and yeah that's pretty much the long and short of it uh I will catch you when I catch you okay um yeah so bonus era and uh or I guess in this case it's still uh bone for now and have a good rest of your day